Welcome to Great Great Citrus Farms here at Nyamidom near Aswansi in the central region of Ghana. On this farm, about 8 tons of dried organic lemon peels are exported to Europe each month, creating jobs for the local people, mostly women. I am here to speak to the CEO to tell us more about her business. Hello, Irama. Can you tell us a bit about your business? The company started since 1996. It was an old state farm. It was in a, a bad state. So then we took over, cut down all the trees, and then replanted them over time. What we do mainly here is citrus plantation. It's a combination of lemon and oranges. We have a total of 290 acres of land. It is an organic farm, a solely organic farm. Therefore, our boundaries are very, very much important to us. We remove the, the, the pews and then we throw the roughages away. It's rather unfortunate. That is where my profit should be coming from. We sand dry the pills on tarpaulins and then bag them and send them abroad. We have buyers outside that take the goods. They add it to other herbs for organic tea. There's an amount of oil found in the lemon and it is extracted. The cosmetics that ladies use. We have big companies in Germany that buy our goods. So they, they order and then we supply them. It is either orange peels or lemon organic peels. How did you find out that this is a business for you? It started with my husband. After his death, I took over. It has been challenging, very, very challenging because there is no capital to push you in. The little money you get, you have to put it back into the business. Sometimes you get to an extent that you don't even pay yourself. You have to sacrifice to make sure that work goes on. Life starts at 5.30. The first truck comes in with a, a load of workers. There are various neighboring villages that bring in workers. Each one will sit in a group. Uh, we have three women for a number of fruits that they have to cut and then peel. The immediately you finish peeling, you go home. Thereafter, drying is done. But those who are on the platform turning it so that we can have direct sunshine, those people stay a little longer. So by five o'clock, everybody is done and gone home. How do you grow your customer base? My main market is in Europe and we have a good relationship with them. And so those who know you are able to supply will recommend you to someone else. Our main problem is capital. And when you go to the banks to help you, their interest rate is quite high. When you go in for a loan, they want you to be given some amount of money every month at the end of the month. But look at the nature of my work. It comes that is when something goes, that money comes in. If nothing goes, there is no money. So then if you give me the proposition that I should give you some returns every month, then I'm incapable of doing it. That is the case, then I wouldn't come to you. And then I'm deprived here because I have to find my own means of getting capital to work. So either I sell some of the properties I have, I sell a vehicle, but then the bureaucracy, as in going for loans is also, it also puts you off. If I have a company that will come in, that will partner as one people, you take the roughage and I take the pills, I am fine with it. If there were to be some more capital on my end, then I can make use of the juice itself. But unfortunately, the capital is not there to get to this rate. So at the moment, we are on the manual or on the traditional level. For Irama, sustaining a family business may have been a daunting task, yet she has prevailed in the face of adversities. She is hopeful her children will continue with the family business, as both two of her sons already help with the day-to-day -day running of the farm. Despite the harsh economic situation in Ghana, her business is thriving and providing a source of hope for the rural men and women she employs whose livelihoods depend on her success. <music>